Okay, so it's mystery machine time. It's very old. Kind of has to do with silage, except we're not we're not doing silage with it. And Brad's trying to get the. Fish. There we go. Smash your finger. Tight friction, there's nothing, there's no bolt there. Well, there's supposed to be a three quarter bolt, three quarter half inch. Okay, so there's the surprise. And Brad, he's happy, he's surprised. Um, I'll let you take your guesses at this for a few minutes, and hopefully we'll get out to the field shortly to show this machine in action. It has red paint, so that's good. International Harvester Company. I'm sure at some point if there was a sticker, it'd be like McCormick, Deering, International Harvester all over it. Charlotte's pretty interested. And a little bit of uh, something from last year. Again. Okay, so what are we doing? We are out here with our 19, probably 30s, looking at the universal joint technology of the binder. Whew. I'm making cornstalk bundles. Now, this is for part of our fall stuff, like the pumpkins, uh, Indian corn. This is the silage corn that we have at home. There might be drier corn on the road, uh, but I wouldn't take this thing too far. Obviously it's two rows wide, and we don't have the collector table, that would be nice. Or at least something to shoot the bundles farther away. So before we can cut more bundles, we're gonna have to pick these up. making some pretty fat bundles too. Poor people who get into the feed store or wherever they're buying them from, I gotta wonder, like, they're so heavy. because we had to chop these three rows off next to the beans.
hope you guys enjoyed uh, the view of our probably late 30s international harvester corn binder. I am getting incredibly close, which is doing nothing for stock quality. Now, like the Amish, not to say they're not worried about stock quality, but all it's got to do is last until it makes it to the silo, the chopper blower. And the Amish go crazy over this thing. We've shown pictures. And they're used to one row horse drawn, you know, the ground drives. And this one is PTO driven, so they need a horse cart. And they think that's just crazy. That's mind blowing for them. Now we're making some really big tall bundles. Woo. I can watch what I'm doing up ahead. So it's our antique, we have our fun with it. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're using the TC. I'm in two medium. Doing about 1500 in case anybody else has a PTO drive one. And I've never seen a two row PTO drive ever again elsewhere. Well, happy farming. We're coming to the end of our rows. Let's just see the row of the stocks before we go here. Hopefully there isn't too much light contrast from light to dark. The sun's getting a little low late afternoon here. It is the last day, last two days of September. There's the row of corn stock bundles. That was a single row, they'd be twice as far apart. So two rows, it's nice. And if we had to, we could probably make another round around the field because these are far enough away taking two rows down. But the TC's narrow enough. If we, we'd have to set the draw bar over so it'd run right against that row of corn. We would just keep laying them down all day. Uh, but we don't feel silly like that. We don't have to carry the bundles back or do all that by hand. But I guess I admire the Amish who still do that. That's a lot of handwork just to make silage. Okay, so this time we'll see ya.